This is the two source interference experiment using microwaves. Microwaves can't be detected directly by us, by any of our five senses. So I will use a microwave probe to detect the strength of the microwave signal at any given point. The probe itself is connected to a loudspeaker that will turn the microwave signal into something audible so that I have a way of detecting the strength of the signal at that point. So that's the microwave probe. This is a microwave transmitter and in front of that I have some aluminium sheets with two gaps in between the sheets. That will give me two sources of microwaves next to each other there. Now what I'll do is turn on the probe first. It's picking up some background radiation already but with the microwave transmitter on we should see that there's a, a, quite a strong difference uh, with the with that signal, that background signal. So that's what it's going to sound like roughly when we're actually receiving a signal. I'm going to turn that on now and as I move the probe parallel to these slits we should see maximum and minimum signals being received by the probe. So you can see clearly, or hear clearly, that as I was moving the probe parallel to the double slits, I was receiving a maximum and minimum series of maximum and minimum signals as I moved the probe. And you could also probably hear that the three central ones were considerably louder than the others. You all, with these two source interference experiments, you always have the central ones being louder or brighter than the. the maxima that are further away. So I'll run through that once more. So we're going into a maximum. It's one of the central ones. This is the the central maximum. to a minimum, another maximum there. So that's our experiment, two source interference, two sources being created by these slits in the aluminium sheets and we're receiving our maximum or minima uh, with the micro probe.